Shelf is getting full. Time for another mailbag. Quick sneak peek of some other things going on in the lab. I've been testing out the Anycubic i3 Mega for a couple of weeks now, and it's been just, it's been awesome. I, I can't wait to show you guys. Well, wow, check this out. Some of the stuff that this thing makes is just, just amazing quality. You'll, you'll see a full video coming up as well as this monster. This is the BFR from SpaceX. And this is gonna stand, well, you can see in relation to the printer, it is massive. Printed on my CR10. I'll share the settings as I always do in my GitHub. And I think this thing is gonna be fun. I gotta get painting on this and I'll do a full video on it, but it's gonna be the biggest rocket I have ever made. Here's the other one. This is the uh, the Falcon 9 that I did, and it turned out just, just awesome, but uh, this thing is gonna be just massive. Last night I gave the CR-10 a complete tune-up. We're back on white filament again. I had to disassemble the nozzle and clear out some, uh, some gookies where the PTFE tube goes in. I didn't do a video on that. It was a long-standing problem I've been having on the printer, and I'm finally, I'm super glad to have that fixed up. My Raspberry Pi up there died again. I think that SD card is shot, so I've got to reinstall some Raspbian on there so I can have my, my uh, Pi dashboard that you saw in a previous video. Back to the mailbag. Alrighty, first out of the box, we have some new filament. This is a translucent red from Amaze3D. I've been using this filament for a long time. I just get it from Amazon because Amazon Canada keeps it in stock here in my local depot. I think this is gonna be awesome to do a flying wing with. I don't know, we're gonna check it out. I've never used translucent filament before, so we're gonna give it a try. One more. This is much the same, except blue. A translucent blue color. I think that's gonna be really cool. I don't know, we're gonna give it a try. The price was right, I think it was about $25 Canadian. Next up, from eBay, we have a huge assortment of ceramic caps. Now, I need these periodically in projects. It's not super, super often, but once in a while, and I don't have a good assortment. So now I do. These did not come labeled, which is unfortunate. So it is it is a price reasonable kit. Uh, you can find, I do have kits that are a little better labeled on my store linked below, but I'm gonna give these a try. I think they'll do the job. They were very cheap. Next up, I have never had one of these before. This is a header kit assortment. So it comes in a nice little plastic case. I don't know why they even bother wrapping it. I guess it protects it a little bit. Inside, we have various headers and the pins that we can use, both male and female, to make our own headers as needed for our projects. So you can use these along with ribbon cable if you wanted, but uh, more shot for single wire setups because the ribbon style, you can get these in a clamp connections. You may have seen these on my uh, very old YouTube videos where they come, they just clamp onto a ribbon cable. These are more for single wire use. Really, really handy, like DuPont style connections for servos and stuff. Like here's the three pin ones. We can use those for doing our own servo connections. Finally, I've never had one before. I think it's gonna be great. Next up, this came from Great Hobbies in Ontario because uh, it seems to be difficult to procure uh, CA glue anymore in my area. My local hobby shop closed down as many of them do. So thankfully Great Hobbies is still in business. I've purchased from them many, many times. You've seen components on the channel from them many, many times. So this will be for that BFR rocket. I can finally, I've got some medium uh, gap filling and then I've got some kicker, some CA accelerator in an aerosol can, which I have never tried. I see these on the 3D lab prints videos all the time. And I, it looks really quite interesting to use a, an aerosol. What I normally use, is the same brand, the Bob Smith. Well, this one actually isn't Bob Smith. Normally it's Bob Smith Industries and I use this Instaset stuff. And from my local hobby store, it used to be six bucks. 
for two fluid ounces. But we'll give this a try just because yeah, it's different. Let's see how it works. Next up, two nifty little components. These are something very special that I have never used before. These are a laser distance sensor. They are an I squared C sensor, if I remember right. They should be. If we can focus, perhaps. Come on, camera. Yeah, uh, serial data, serial clock. And it is supposed to be a laser emitting sensor. That is a really interesting little chip set. So we're going to give them a try uh, to supplement the big robot project, which is still coming on the channel. I have not forgotten about it. We're going to use, we're going to try these in conjunction with an ultrasonic distance measuring that you've seen on the channel here many times with my robot projects. Next up, we've got some nozzles. These are just 0.4 millimeter nozzles I got from Amazon. Uh, sometimes it's just easier. These things are now down to a price reasonable amount where it's just easier just to replace the nozzle rather than really fighting with it when you get a partial clog. Uh, I did fix the issue on the CR10, so I, I, I don't think I'll need them too much anymore. And the clog usually wasn't in the nozzle, but it doesn't hurt to have some. Now I have lots. Next up for the scope, we got some BNC three-way connections, well, splitters. They are BNC in, male there, and female, female. So we can tie in another lead. Handy dandy when you need it. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but I got a complete airsoft assembly for an airsoft gun. This shoots uh, small plastic BBs. And what I thought it would be really neat to do kind of a sci-fi project on the channel. And I have a particular character in mind. You guys can guess it down below. But I, I would like to try this. This is small enough that I can mount it uh, to something and do a custom uh, enclosure and fastening and maybe have this uh, as a very neat kind of a, a, a famous movie character set up. I don't know, we're gonna try. Next up, a whole bunch of extensions and buttons. Various buttons for switches, for tactile switches. All kinds of them. Beautiful little assortment here of just standard extensions, round buttons, round white buttons, extended green, extended yellow, yeah, kind of a neat idea. And then the black with a large square end on it. If the camera would focus, there we go. The black ones have a large square end on them. Very, very neat idea. And then different lengths of the white with square. I think this might be kind of neat. We'll give it a try. That's it for the quick mailbag today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Click a thumbs up on this if you like these videos, if you like these projects. Uh, I'm gonna bring you some build videos upcoming in the next few weeks. I'm still editing them. It takes forever to edit these things. Good luck in all your electronics ventures. Throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you're building.